Mark Zuckerberg posted to his um uh, Instagram account. So this is oh, yeah. in the in the same lane as um GPUs, generative AI, and all of that stuff. And as you were saying, this is the year of AI PCs. But Mr. Zuckerberg, um, founder of Facebook and current CEO CEO of um Meta, has taken to his Instagram with um let's just say some very tired eyes. Uh he might need some sleep or a hey, Barocca. I for him. So do I. <laughs> um yeah so he took to his instagram with a video basically outlining um meta's big bet on developing an open source artificial general intelligence and if you've heard about ai you've likely also heard of agi which stands for artificial general intelligence and probably the easiest way to differentiate the two is AGI would be an AI that has human level intelligence. It's comparable to a human, which is yeah. depending on which researcher you ask either impossible or within five years. <laughs> so it's yeah, all over. The way like AI works is that people, most people don't really understand and nor, nor that they should is that mm. Like it's not intelligence the way we most humans like view intelligence, right? It is like um, rules and things like that. So it's like basic, like, you know, like an AI, like AI is like, like most AI is like dumb, it's, it's pretty dumb, right? Like, you know, like Definitely. the very first versions of AI is that like, you know, this, hey, this, this like, Ro little robot or little car can can navigate around this room all it means is that there's a detection that says okay if i'm close to a wall slow down and and then turn right and if i if there's nothing to the right i can turn right you know like it has like it's just basically if else like and it's all just like very basic rules that's what yeah, defines they're, they're bowling with the bumpers on yeah but obviously generative ai and what's happening now is very very different because you've got um that happening at a level that is so fast and so quickly that that eventually you know it'll match it'll have enough of that information to be at at that human level is what they're saying yeah and a part of reaching that according to zuckerberg is purchasing an astonishing 350,000 nvidia h100 ai gpus each are approximately thirty thousand dollars each which ends up being a total in just h100 gpus mm -hmm. 10.5 billion dollars that's one sale in one <laughs> and then zuckerberg said that eventually um what will be powering this open source agi is six hundred thousand h100 equivalent of compute power which is counting all the other gpus such as like you know the amd cards and you know everything yeah. else that they have plugged into this um ai um now what i wanted to talk about was that is a lot of gpus but also the fact that they want to open source the AGI. Now, some researchers, um, Dame Wendy Hall, a computer scientist at the University of Southampton in England, said um, it's so irresponsible for the company to suggest, end quote, um, right. open sourcing the AI, because if it was to get into the wrong hands, it could result in a great deal of harm. Um, I'm usually for open sourcing stuff, but I mean, I've seen so many reports of so many different researchers saying AGI could genuinely, generally be a uh, genuinely be really bad for society. I can't really think of like, there's nothing that immediately pops into my head about the dangers of it besides misinformation and also well, um, generative AI scraping the internet and then collecting content that it has generated because then it ends up being this loop of poor information. And I've done stories on researchers that yeah. have fed generative AI 
generated AI content and it ends up spinning the AI into just chaos. Yeah, like it's very easy to to detect and for it to mess up currently. And mm. like there's examples I was reading the other day of like multiple generative AI like content creation thing is now scrambling to hire writers to go through all this AI content to actually to have like AI editors to be able to basically edit. So all, all they're doing is just like instead of writing, being hired as copywriters, mm. um, they're being hired as copy editors for AI yeah. generated content. Yeah, it's um, it's going to be a strange, it's a strange thing. And like I said, I'm mostly for open sourcing basically any software. I Usually it ends up being way better. We use OBS to record that, uh, to record this podcast yeah. and that's open source. And like, if you have a problem or you want to use OBS in a weird way, post to the forums and give them a few months and there's a fix that comes out. That's, that's the beauty right. of open sourcing stuff. I don't know how that's going to work with AI though. But like I can see where the danger is, right? Like if you're looking at a open source AGI that could be deployed by any corporation or government body mm. or military in the world mm. to run systems, to run and make decisions Yeah, you know, with, okay. without oversight without any sort of international, you know, like body like the UN, like a governing body or something yeah. like that. Like, you know, that that's the danger because if you're not if you don't have oversight to something that you technically don't have full control over. Let's say you give you hand over the keys to mm. an AGI to manage all nuclear reactors. <laughs> right? And yeah. and there's an issue with one. I'm just this is just hypothetical. There's an issue with one so it decides to shut down everything in the country at a, yeah. as a safety measure, right? And this is like, this is not the thing causing like intentional harm. It's like, it's trying to protect everyone. So it's like, no, all power's off. Not, it's, it's just, we found this one error and we don't understand what the problem is. We're going to shut down everything. And then, you know, you just cause economic chaos. Yeah. Because like some an unintended system is like, you know, it's something that you didn't expect. Like, you know, like that's the thing is like if you don't know what the outcome is, if you don't have control over the outcome, then mm. it's potentially dangerous. And yeah. we're talking about like software or open source thingos. Um, it's open source, but it doesn't do anything on its own. You have to. You mold it, you run it, you control mm. it. Yeah, it could really be. Um, yeah, it's just a matter of... There isn't regulatory guidelines, like I said, bowling with the bumpers on. There is no bumpers right now in terms of AI. Like it is the wild, wild west. People, AI yeah. is every day there's a new GPT that has been released that is ripping off someone else's work, yeah. generating, and people are making money off of it. You can even argue OpenAI is doing that with um, ChatGPT. None of the work that is, none of the content that is within ChatGPT's large language model is original content. It is everyone, everyone else's content. Yeah, it goes like, back to that whole thing about how AI is very, if you break it down to its the earliest components of like the earliest versions of AI, like, mm. You know, it's like very rule-based. It's like it's an approximation of intelligence. So these large language models can scrape information at an insane speed. Mm. But it's just, and it, and it is learning by doing that. But at the same time, it's just a rule set that's just, it's just, it's just basically taking what is already out there. Like it's not really generating things from. It's not completely it. original content. No. And then you get into the argument of. Uh, are the the first analogy that pops into my head is the boat analogy where you keep where you love like say the black pearl right but the black pearl from from pirates of the caribbean yeah. um but the black pearl <laughs> um you know it gets hit with a cannonball or something like that and it needs wood replaced and then you replace that wood and then over 20 years the whole ship has been replaced is it still the black pearl yeah, After. I yeah, I know that analogy. Yeah. You know like what I mean? You replace every component. Yeah. 
every component is it still what it was originally or is it something new the same thing is happening with the ai they're just re shit re they're putting yeah. different bits of information into form something that they say is new that is new yeah i but agree it's not. like i agree with that as well because it's kind of like this is a tangent but because like i do music production it's kind of like remixing right yeah like, remixing is an art form like let's say like you know good remix that a producer makes of a track it's like reinterpreting something like yeah it's using samples like it's like with the music like using samples from this or that to make something mm. new like i've done it heaps of times mm. like it like is it is it it's not entirely new but it is new like it is not like it is something that has been created so i think like the, uh, that argument for ai holds water but at the same time <clears throat> where it gets like murky for like art is that there really is no creativity coming from the AI. It is re like if you just say, show me a, um, you know, a mug sitting on a desk in the style of Pablo Picasso. Mm. So what it's going to do is use all the information it knows about Pablo Picasso's art style. And, or if you say in like this art deco in this sort of like, you know, it's going to take all that m millions of images that it's scraped Mm. And it's just going to say, okay, that in this style, and we're just going to copy that style. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like, it's almost like, is it uh, like it feels like plagiarism in a way? Yeah. But, and but, then, but then also, it's, so, just it's such to a gray area. Be a devil's advocate to my own argument. Everyone is standing on the shoulders of people that have mm. passed away, that have yeah. been developing knowledge from previous generations. So we're standing on the shoulders of giants and also saying at the same time, everyone is think everyone is generating their own original content because they're humans. It's like, well, how much of your own thoughts are your, your own thoughts or are they yeah. other people's thoughts combined with, you know, Stephen Hawking and Albert Einstein right, and Jordan Peterson. And yeah, it's <clears> like, these are all, you don't even know where half of it is. Half of it's subconscious, right? Like you yeah. heard something years ago and that informs your opinion. Yeah. That's essentially what the AI is doing. You know what I mean? Like that's, mm. we're doing the same thing, but in real life, but we think it's okay because we're human. Yeah. But now we see something like an AI do it instantaneously. We're like, yeah. that's bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's not real. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's um, a bit of AI talk. It is the wild, wild west. The biggest takeaway from this story, I suppose, about Mark Zuckerberg is the absurd amount of GPUs that he's buying to, yeah, um, definitely to fuel this AGI, and also the fact that there is hardly any regulatory, if none at all, um, guidelines put in place for technology such as this and ai is moving too fast for regulators to come in yep. so yeah we're just gonna have to wait and see and hopefully skynet doesn't come out 